Hey guys, it's Landon Blake with Redefined Horizons, and I'm recording this video for one of my survey techs, Elena. I'm going to show her how to add uh, map footprints, filed survey map footprints, and then uh, property corner points in QGIS. Uh, so uh, we're using QGIS to manage a, a couple big projects we've got. It's about 45 miles of of mapping and so one of the things we're doing is uh, just trying to identify uh, filed survey maps and property corner monuments along the the uh, project corridors so I've got a map uh, pulled up here I just picked one at random so this uh, this wasn't planned out um, and we're gonna see if we can locate this um, so the nice thing is uh, for this project that the map research was organized by assessor uh, book and page and so that that lets you kind of uh, narrow down the location of the map so I know I'm I've got this map it's it was in book um, uh, book 30 page 38 of the of the tax assessor maps and so the first thing you you, you have to do is kind of uh, you, you got to figure out where this map is at now one thing we haven't done here yet um, is we haven't yet added the tax assessor map footprints uh, but you can see um, we will do that and so you can see if I turn off the maps down here uh, we've done that for uh, some of these other areas we have the tax assessor map boundaries added um, and so that helps that makes this a little easier but I haven't done that yet uh, we haven't done that yet for this segment but I know roughly what area I'm, I'm in and so what you do is you pull up your map and you try and find this map. Okay, so I know I've got Hess Loopy County Road coming in here. And this is Ridge Road, so that makes it fairly easy to find this map. Okay, so here's Hess Loopy coming in and here's Ridge Road. And so if you look, we've got this kind of shape here. That is uh, this shape here that I'm tracing with my cursor. Okay, and so what we want to do first is we just want to add the map footprint. So we're going to make this filed survey map layer editable. So we'll toggle the editing on, and then we're going to just click this button right here, which lets us add a polygon. And I've got my snapping turned on here. So we're just going to trace the footprint of the map. Okay, now I missed the snap there. I'll show you how to fix that in a minute. Okay. And so, and this this isn't going to be, you know, exact, uh, but it'll be close. We're just trying to get uh, a general idea of uh, where these maps are. So when you're done, you right click, and then it's going to pull up a dialog for you to fill out the attributes. So this is a record of survey. Uh, let's see here. Let me just check that. Yep, record of survey, and it's book 12, page 2. So we're going to say book 12, page 2. Hit OK. You can see that label pops up there. Okay, so let's go in now and fix these uh, spots where I missed the snap. So we're just going to click on the vertex editing tool here. It's right next to the add polygon tool. And when we hover over that shape, you can see when I get close to a vertex, it, it gets a circle on it. I just click it once with the left click and then click again, left click uh, on, on where I want the vertex to be. Okay, so this one got off too. We'll fix that. And then this one I missed too right here. Okay. Oop, one more. Looks like I missed that one. All right. Okay, so that's how you get the map in. So when you're done... Uh, we're just going to say, uh, ba, ba, ba. I want to save these layer edits, current edits. It looks like they're already saved, so I'm just going to toggle that off. Okay, so now I've added the map footprint. Now, what we want to do is we want to add uh, property corners that are, are that are in or along the right-of-way. Okay, you have to look carefully at the legend in the map to do that. So these right here, they look like monuments, but they're not. They're dimension points. Right, so these these bigger dark circles are actually the monuments. Uh, so there's two here. You found a rebar here and set one here. There's one here. There's one here. There's one here. Okay, now we do go up the road a little bit. Okay, so we've got these three monuments here. This one here. Okay, and one up here. 
So uh, let's go ahead and add, add these. I'll show you how to do that. And he set a three quarter inch, it says a steel rod, so that's a rebar, three quarter inch rebar, LS2902. Okay, so to do that, we're gonna, um, we are going to right click on the property corner monument layer and we're gonna toggle editing. Let me see if I can fix that legend real quick. It's a little hard to read that way, the way it is right now. Yeah, I'm not sure how to fix that. If you know how to fix this so that the symbols are over here to the left in the legend, let me know. <laughs> I don't know how to do that toggle, but... Okay, so uh, we've made that editable. Now we can add a point feature. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and just do the set mons first because it's going to be easier. So I'll click the add point tool and then we're just going to hover over roughly where we think that monument is. Okay, now you have to assign a search point number, um, right? And we actually need the next available number, which I don't have. So I'm going to just hit cancel. So let's go ahead and open up this attribute table. And let's go see what our last number is. Okay, so our next number looks like it'll be, I'm going to just jump up to uh, 1890. I'm going to give myself a little room there. Okay, so we'll do this again. So our point number is 1890, search point number. Okay, and then you put the map reference in, so RS12-002. Okay, and the description, this is going to be a, a three-quarter inch rebar. And then we're going to just put LS2902. We don't know if it's a cap or a tag. He says tag, but it could be a cap. Okay, and then the status, this is it's going to be one of three values. Not searched for, found, or searched for, not found. So the default is uh, we're going to put not searched for. Okay, and then I'm going to just copy the description. Okay, so he's got a monument there. Now this is just a dimension point. And this is a dimension point. But somewhere over here, roughly, based on what we see in the map, there's another monument. You can see that here. Okay. So I'm going to just eyeball that. And so we're not really, we're not using these for stake out in the field. Uh, we're just trying to get in the general vicinity. So it's going to be 1891 RS12-002. We'll paste in that description. The status is not searched for. Okay. Um, now you'll know if you get that status correct because it'll take on the color of that in the legend, the color and the size, and it did, so we got that right. Okay, so we got another one right here, kind of same thing. 1893 RS 12-002. Description is, we paste that in. This is not searched for. Okay. Okay, now we've got um, these three monuments here at the end. Okay, like this is a dimension point, but we've got a, a monument here, um, a monument roughly in here, and then a monument here. Okay, and these we actually found already. Um, so those will be different. So uh, same map map reference. Okay, now uh, the description we can paste in there, but this this is actually going to be found. And you're going to see it's going to get a different color and size. Okay, so it's a little, it's bigger and it's dark green. So we know we found that one. Okay, and then we had another one in here that we also found. Um, and I forgot if we find them, we drop the the one off the point number. So this will be 8.95. Um, and the map reference is the same. Okay, now this one is actually a a, a found monument. He found. A two-inch iron pipe. That's what's on the map, right here. He found a two-inch, two-inch. It looks like open iron pipe. So we're just going to say two-inch iron pipe. Okay, and we also found that. Okay, and then this last one here is 896. Same map reference. Okay, and that's uh, a three-quarter inch rebar that he set. 
and we found that one. Okay, so I won't do all the ones on the map in this video, but and we're not doing all the, the monuments on the map necessarily. We're just doing what's adjacent to the right of way. Okay, so now we've we've got those added. We can save this, save the layer edits, turn the editing off, and then I always like to save my project. Okay, and now we have a map with our map footprint. So what we want when we're done is we want something that looks like this, right? You can see we've added all these map footprints and all the corners, and then we've gone in and color-coded what we've looked for, what we found, and what we haven't looked for. Okay? All right, guys, thanks for watching.